corruption in Ife as Aousas dared to install Seriki and three arrested. The Oshun State Police Commissioner Abiodun Ige said on Saturday that three people had been arrested for blocking the Sabo Road in Ileife during a protest over the vacant store of Seriki of Aousa community in the town. She said that those arrested were the ringleaders of the protest and warned that police would not tolerate any acts of lawlessness in any part of the state. Ige who urged residents of the town to go about their lawful duties without any fear of molestation, said anyone with justifiable grievances should channel such to the appropriate quarters without breach of public peace. Deputy Chairman of the Aousa Community, Sabo Ileife, Alaji Malami Nasiri, confirmed the barricade mounted on the road at Sabo over the vacant Seriki stool. Nasiri said that people of the community had gone to the place, to the palace of the Oni of Ife, Obadiye Yogunusi, on Friday for the installation of some monarchs. He, however, said that one of the contestants started mobilizing people to start the trouble. Nasiri said that the Oni immediately sent a former chairman of Ife, local government council, Mr. Tajudin Lawa, to the protesters to halt the uprising. He, however, said that he was surprised when he uh, saw the road being barricaded on Saturday, adding that his call to the owner of e Oni in council led to Oba Ogunusi informing the security agencies to mobilize to Sabo. However, Normacy had since returned, returned and restored to the area. You know, it's like it's a normal thing in this country. Everybody wants power and for people to get that power, they can go any length to do anything to disturb other people, even to the extent of even killing people. Just what we, uh, the, uh, the the incident that happened in Kogi, the PDP uh, woman leader in that state, you know, they just see what happened. I'm sure a lot of people have heard what happened. And it comes across broad. Every time people just want power by any means, by any crook, we are still doing things in a, in a crude way because... Uh, uh, the winner takes all. That is the reason why everybody wants to be there because by the time you get there, you always want to take all. Nobody cares about other people. But I don't know the relationship between their, their Seriki and uh, the people uh, in Ileife, whether it's amongst themselves, among, among the Aousas that want to install. But this story didn't tell us whether it is because of, uh, you know, maybe whether the other people didn't want them to do that. I think that should be the, the politics played between the Aousas you know, trying to install uh, Siriki in that area. But like we have heard, uh, normalcy has been restored and they just need to be careful so that it will not escalate because we know from history a lot of violence have taken place in that area and which took a lot of people's life and it destroyed a lot of things. They need to be careful. If because you want to get power, you want to make sure that every other person must must bow to you every some other people must be injured some other people must be inconvenient before you get what you need to get but it's like it's that is not matter you know amongst us even at the, at the apart from this a uh, traditional whatever they are trying to get for themselves even at the political scene it's happening just like we said you can imagine that a woman of uh, of 60 year old the pdp uh, woman leader in that state just because of politics they wasted the woman's life and all of that. Even the this thing is even it's even it's even worse. Where you are talking of power from the political uh, arena, it's even worse compared to even the traditional uh, 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 positions. So everything must go in violence. Every everybody must be violent. Things must go violent before we get things done. And yet we are not improving. We are not even developing ourselves. The area is is something else. The people's character is something else. The problem is from the top. It's from the top. A lot of all these uh, monarchs, they've joined politics. Everything is mixed together. Everything is just in, in, in disarray. So the police should just do the needful so that it will not escalate more than what has happened now. And uh, someone says the people of Ileife have to be careful. Nobody except the Oni of Ife has the right to install the Seriki. The Aousa Fulani are looking for a way to foment a problem and trouble. Someone says, bros, why are you sounding like this? Are they no longer your brothers and sister? I mean, Awusa Fulani, let me tell you, this is confirmed hate speech indeed. Hmm. Someone say, haha, very sarcastic. So, Nigeria are full with hatred. Go to any state that 
there is Igbo, Awosa or Yoruba community, there is always a head there, one who is in charge of his people. This has nothing to do with the religion, but common sense, which is not common with, we never allow some people to understand that, uh, cause all the, all they understand, because all they understand and have in their hearts is hatred for Islam. If you guys like insult Islam as you like, it will never stop it from being the fast growing religion, every tribe, religion, organization has, has one problem or the other. That irrespective of the hatred that people are going to be having for Islam, it will not stop it from growing because it's the fast growing religion. According to what this person is saying, that every religion, every tribe, organization has one problem or the other, confronting them. It's just the way Christians are facing the problems of fake pastors who defraud people using miracle in the name of Jesus or keep people for ritual purpose to make their church grow. Same thing, Islam too is facing the problem of extremists who kill or hide under the name of Islam to commit crime. I'm appealing to you guys to take away hatred from your hearts and see the beauty of religion as a gift of God to draw us close to him. Be an ambassador of peace. Uh, of course, I try. To, I release. I reckon with this person. Every area, just like I said, it's like it's the normal thing in Nigeria. I try to talk about the politics and even the traditional setting as well. Everything about us is just all about greed, greed, greed. The winners take all, and that is why some people just want to get there. So because as soon as I get there, the person, if I get there, I'm still going to do the same thing. Because if somebody else, if I allow somebody to get there. I will be forgotten. And that is what is playing out at, at our political scene. Like uh, this particular person said, in every region, everything, even between husband and wives, even at times there are some things that you do even to yourself as a person, you'll be regretting. You wouldn't want to forgive yourself, let alone you are involving some other person. There is always, there's bound to be disputes and all of that. It's rampant or everywhere. It's just like uh, people are saying, oh, Nigerians are this, Nigerians are that. That doesn't mean we still have a... Lots of lots of good people in Nigeria that are very very honest, but when the 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 few ones that are of a questionable character, they try to generalize everybody. So it is happening in a different religion. This one, you know, just like he said, in Islam, in Christianity, everything people just tend to take advantage of the good thing and to rubbish others. So it's like that. Just like I said, everything, everybody must be careful. Every all hand must be on deck so that things will not escalate more than this because we don't want a situation whereby people, people's life will be involved. It's not, it's not a good thing. Life is so precious. It's so precious. But I don't know why some people have decided, they've yielded themselves, you know, to the devil to be used. They don't even care in as much as they get what they want. Whether the rest people go to hell, it's none of their business. But we ought to have grown more than more than that, and someone here is talking about a uh, how many oba this, how many oba this you see in the north or east, but Yoruba land, and Igbo wants to have their ways in Yoruba land. They want to have their way in Igbo land. They want to have their way. Way. Someone say Yoruba have to be very careful. Their careless corruption, over proud and unfaithfulness will make their kingdom fall to Aousa and Fulani people in future. It is who. No lion that respects lion. Let them in Sosiriki now. Most times I don't understand the Yorubas. They share the same Islam with the Fulani and Hausa. This is unfair. What all of them cannot do in their land that make them not to stay there. They come to Yoruba land to try all this rubbish. Then they don't come again. So be careful. Hmm. Yoruba are betrayers and selfish race. I don't have time to comment on anything concerning them. You know, this person, this is this is what they call his speech. You don't, you know, you can just make your opinion known. You know, they don't have to go to the extent of insulting people. If you are not okay with something or if you are not agree with something, there's a way you put it so that the other person will get it. Even if you are you have a good advice and you just insulting the person the person will not take your advice that's just this, this irrespective of your wisdom or irrespective of your good intentions but in as much you put insults the person will not take it so go 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 with whatever you whatever if you really want to address me if you really want to make corrections do it respectfully you don't need to cause people you don't need to whatever even if you don't want to comment good and fine you know it is your it is your opinion it is your right not to comment but it is not your right to insulting other people and you aggravate other people. Make your points known. Let it be known to people. 
and people will learn from it. You don't need to insult anybody because as you are insulting, you are creating more problems. That is what a lot of them do on social media. They just want to get at you. But the person you have not even met, you have not, you don't even know. You'll be insulting them. Who is who is who is fooling who? Someone says a Fulani uh, Esme likes Seriki. Why would the Yorubas install a Fulani uh, Esme in their land? The Yorubas don't know what they are doing until it will be done on them. Mm. Yoruba students have stopped them from installing their Seriki after all Yorubas and Aousas are very after all they are very very understandable to each other. Why now? I beg they should settle their differences. Please, your next news, please. If we can't uh, let them insult let them sort themselves out. That's what this person is talking about. But I don't know whether the, the, the fight is between the, the, the Aousas or the Yoruba stopping them from installing their Seriki. So guys, uh, that is just my opinion. You can let us have your opinion concerning this. Leave your comments below. Thank you very much. Bye.